With Michigan bordering 721 miles of Canada and the national debate over immigration reform, border security is a top concern. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is U.S. Representative Candace Miller, a Republican from the 10th District. And also we should mention you are the Vice Chair of the House Committee on Homeland Security. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Laurel. Delighted to be here again. And obviously uh, with this seat uh, on the uh, Homeland Security uh, uh, committee and uh, everything that's been going on recently and all the changes taking place. Uh, we here in Michigan are in a unique geographic place to be perhaps a little uh, extra concerned or, or cognizant of, mm -hmm. of what's going on. Yeah, that's really true because Michigan is a border state, a northern border state, but certainly we do have a very long border and we have a very long liquid border uh, that we share with Canada. And as the nation is really focused on uh, perhaps the passage this year of comprehensive immigration reform, a critical component, I think, of any package that could be successful, really, uh, in both the House and the Senate and signed into law by the President, would be that we are confident as Americans that we have a secure border. And not just on the southern border, which is very, very important as we see uh, drug trafficking coming across, illegal aliens coming across the southern border, but the northern border is also has some unique dynamics, as we're aware here in Michigan. That's also very important, as well as our coastal borders, our mar the maritime environment. So uh, I'm also the uh, chairperson of uh, the Subcommittee on Borders and Maritime in the Homeland Security, and we recently passed a bill out of our committee, our subcommittee, uh, which is our Border Security Act. Uh, we're uh, anticipating that it will be, as I say, a component of anything that happens with comprehensive immigration reform because if we do not secure our borders and we pass immigration reform, our country is going to have the same conversation next year, in the year after, in five years, and ten years. We must secure our borders. So what is uh, the main gist of the, of the, the bill that, uh, that you have introduced? Really, we are uh, uh, saying there that we have to make sure that we have operational control. That's sort of the buzz phrase, operational control of our borders and that we have a, uh, an accountability matrix. In other words, that we have a system that we can be accountable for what is actually happening in different parts of the border, uh, and which is a layered approach that's boots on the ground with agents, uh, fencing strategically placed, uh, use, utilizing uh, technology like the UAVs, uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, various things that we are doing to uh, have accountability uh, that are, uh, we have operational control of all of our borders. And, uh, and we also are requiring that we verify that this is happening. So uh, those are two things that are absent right now. I was just going to make it sound like this is not already taking place. And I just, I guess that I think we as Americans assume that we have secure borders and this mm -hmm. is already happening. Yeah, no, our borders are uh, uh, not particularly secure. Uh, in fact, a uh, government accounting office uh, just did a study, of, actually about two years ago, that showed that the southern border had about 45% uh, under operational control. The northern border has about 4%. It is mm. very, very open. And so uh, we have to be very, very concerned with that. And as I say, as we look at, uh, at not only our secure borders, but also to make sure that we don't have visa overstays because about 40% of every illegal who is in our country here uh, didn't come through the desert. They literally came in through the front door. In other words, they're here on visa overstays. And we can remember four of the 9-11 hijackers, those terrorists, those murderers, were here on visa overstays. So it's all a part of any kind of immigration reform that we look at, uh, whether people are here on a visa overstay for a tourist uh, visa or a student visa or you know whatever it is. Uh, we have to have a very uh, robust exit system so we can track who's in our country uh, why they're here and when it's time for them to leave that they have left and don't overstay. So right, very sound, important. Sounds reasonable. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much, Lauren. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was U.S. Representative Candace Miller.